Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our last session, we have covered that how we can clean data. In our today's session, we are going to discuss about what if we have null values in our data, how we are going to clean that using Power Query Editor. For that, let's just open Excel. For this, again, I'm opening a new book, a new blank workbook. Okay, let's go to data. In the get data section, I'm going for a file or you can go for a folder as well. I'll go for a folder over here on my desktop. In my Excel data sets, I have classic models folder. Okay, let's open this. Again, you will find the link of this data set uh, in the data sets repository given below in the description. Okay, so it has many plenty files. It has customers, employees, offices, or the details, orders, payments, products line, and products. Okay, so let's transform this data. If we click on transform, we will be able to navigate to Power Query Editor. In Power Query Editor, I know only two of these files contain null values. So right, let's right click over it and add this as a new query. Let's double tap, uh, double tap on it. Okay. As you can see in address line, we have many null values, although for the analysis, we do not need address line. So from phone to address line to I'll delete these columns. So you can delete the columns as well in Power Query Editor. Also, we have contact first name and last name. So if you want to join them, we can again use merge option over here. So go to transform and select your first name, shift, select your last name, click on merge columns once you click on merge column the separator would be a space and the name of this column would be full name we don't need two separate columns for a uh, name and uh, surname okay so we have full names some of these values might also contain white spaces in it so uh, as you can see in karen smith the space between karen and smith is too much uh, it's two spaces over here in jonas also we have two spaces so let's unmerge this data again let's go to contact first name okay and go to format in format you will find trim option trim will allow you to trim that means remove the white spaces from your data trim it click on this again choose the second column click on merge columns again go for the separator as a space and now we'll be providing the full name over here so this is our full name and now we have names with the proper spaces in between them. We also have null values in the states. Now these null values, if I try to fill them, if I try to fill down, it, nothing would work. Even if I try to fill up, to fill the null values, we have uh, two options. Whether it's a, if it's a string, we use fill down, fill up. If it's a numeric value, we use the average or median for that data. Okay, for here, we have a string, but it's not identifying it as a null value. Here we have null written over here, but the Power Query Editor is not identifying it as a null value. How it will identify it? Let's understand that. First of all, go to replace value. Instead of NU double L, replace all the values with small NU double L. Click on OK. And now you can see there are null values also. On the top, there is a line. It's green for each column, but for this particular column, it's half green and more than half is black, which tells us if we hover on it, it tells us that uh, from complete data, 73 data, that means 60% of your data is empty. Now, if we click on fill down, it will fill the values or if we'll click on fill up, it, fill, it will fill the value in this cell, in this cell. Okay, moving ahead, let's go to postal code and postal code is again something that we do not need for analysis. Sales representative employee number, uh, it should also be in a numeric format. So let's go over here and convert it to a whole number. As soon as we convert it to a whole number, we can see we have some null values over here to fill them. We can again use fill down. Okay. Suppose if we have had null values in credit limit, in that case, what you would have done is you would have used statistics and find the mean that is the average of this data. The average of this data is 67,659. Uh, 67, Go back and click over here 
go to transform replace values replace null values with 65700 and uh, whatever the number was okay you would have done that if it had null values because it's a numeric data okay so this is how you can deal with the null values suppose if power query editor is not identifying it as a null value you need to first make it identify it as a null value by converting it to a lower case null value also this is our customers data sometimes you do not need to fill the null values as well for example if i go to employees if i add this as a new query if i open this again we have first name last name just for safety purposes i'm trimming it select the last name merge the column name it as full name okay and the separator would be the space and click on okay a new column would be created now you can see in reports too we have null values also the format should be is a whole number and we have a null value over here but i'm not going to fill this null value why i'm not going to fill this null value is because as you can see the name of the column is reports to that means who this person is going to report to this person this guy is a president obviously the president will not report to anyone that's why there is a null value so also we need to understand the logic behind why there is a null value if you want to change it to a numeric value you can convert it to zero or just nothing or let it be null itself null means blank only that it is a blank value because president never reports to anyone so it's important to understand the conte context of null values that why there is a null value over here i hope after this session it is clear how you can deal with the data if it contains null values if your data also contains duplicate values so in this condition we do not have any duplicate values but if you do have any duplicate values you can right click over here and over here only you'll find an option to remove duplicates we also have an option to remove errors remove duplicates you can remove duplicates or you can remove error as per your requirement i hope this is clear how we can deal with the null values it's also very important to understand the context of the null values in our next session we will be discussing about how we can merge queries in power query editor so suppose if we have similar types of file how we can merge them in power query editor we will be understanding that so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session